Okay. Hey, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving to you. I'm going to be uh, posting this one, obviously, a little later. going to post it over to the page real quick. I've got the Joker for you tonight. It's going to be um, a classic version. And I'm going to get started here in just a second. Let me share this with the page so everybody can see it. And then we are going to get rocking and rolling on this. And there we go. Cool deal. All right. <clears throat> I hope everybody's having a great holiday. Uh, it is Turkey Day 2017. So happy Thanksgiving. And going to be knocking this one out. Uh, spent a little time with the family today. Uh, saw my brother and uh, his new wife and uh, then saw my grandparents and uh, my mom. And it was awesome. Got to hang out with everybody and visit for a while and whatnot. Hope everybody got to see people that are important to them. I know I did. It was awesome. So, I don't talk very much about the family, but, uh, yeah, fun time. Great day. And I am knocking out some comic work right now after this card. Before calling it a, a finally a day, um, preferably before tomorrow, <laughs> the clock's ticking for me to get this done and hold up my record um, of doing this daily since I started, which is a little intense, but uh, it is what it is, folks. It is still here. So, yeah, I haven't missed yet. Haven't missed yet. We still got a daily card coming um, right now, and I got some news with the comics and the courses and all that coming out here shortly. If I sound a little tired, it's because I am <laughs> still very upbeat, just very tired. Uh, been an exciting, fun day. Got to cut up with everybody and hang out and whatnot, and it was awesome. Um but I decided to do uh, the classic Joker because of the fact that I like this gangster version. I've done the new one a couple of times, and it just, eh, it's not the same, you know. It's not the same. The one with the longer hair and the one with the the sawed-off face, I've, I've drawn those a couple of times. And, you know, the more Jim Lee style, the more demonic uh, style with the, with the weird long chin and whatnot and that works for Jim. It just doesn't work for me. So, um, I wanted to do something a little more classic, a little more refined. And, uh, that's, that's what we got here. This is almost a thirties, forties type of Joker from the original series. I'm, I'm not sure exactly when he appeared offhand. I don't remember, but, you know, it's that 30s, 40s style gangster. Very smooth, very clean. And uh, this is what I wanted to represent. So here we go. And I think I'm nailing this one because this is an awesome character and it's one of my favorites. Um, I, I This is one of my favorite all-time comic villains. And, you know, I know everybody says that, but... This dude is really cool. He is just completely unpredictable because of the fact that he has the one sole mission in life, and that's to aggravate the crap out of Batman, period. That's all the guy lives for, is to tick off Batman and mess with him. That's all he wants to do. And it's, uh, it, it's crazy stuff, man. I mean, it's... He's one of those characters that's completely unpredictable. Of course, being three or four different guys in the persona of the character, and you never know which one's which, that that helps with the uh, the mystique and the 
the who the heck is this guy scenario, you know, the thrill of it as to what one we're going to get. But you never know. It could be this one. It could be that one. It could be the comedian. It could be whoever uh, is in key place position to get loose and cause the Joker to appear and jack with Batman's world, which that's his essence of life right there, to mess with Batman. He's Batman's boogeyman. That's what makes him so cool. So... Gonna knock this out real quick. I'm having a lot of fun with this one because it's one of my, like I said, one of my favorite characters to draw. And I sketched, I've sketched this guy a lot. And even if I do say so myself, it shows because he pops right off the the card very easily. And it's because I've drawn him so many times, you know. He's like right there with my own characters. I just draw him all the time. And if I want to get revved up for a villain, this is the guy I go to as the, uh, the warm-up choice. So, I mean, who do better to get you wound up than the Joker if you need a villain to go to? That's definitely one of those characters that's in your face, not messing around, going to cause chaos, going to upheave everything. That is the Joker for sure. Okay, going to slow that down a little bit. Yep. Very cool. Yeah, this is a cool guy. So, you guys are going to have to tell me uh, when you get back on. You're going to have to tell me about uh, your turkey day and how everything went and, you know, who you saw and whatnot. I love to hear those stories. Uh, let's see. We're going to start with the stuffing. <laughs> Ironically, uh, here on Thanksgiving, we're going to start with the stuffing of Batman. Um, this is going to be like one of those claw machine type toys that uh, has just been ripped up. And then stabbed. Everybody's seen these things, you know, they're the little the stuffed toys that go in the uh, the claw machines, like I mentioned, and it's just an animated style Batman. Just old school 90s style. I say old school like it's ancient, but... Uh, this is the one that everybody resonates with these days, is the 89 through 92 style Batman that came out with the Keaton movie, and uh, with Nicholson and Keaton involved as uh, Batman and the Joker, which this is not Nicholson's version of the Joker by any means. It's the classic comic book, but I just wanted to put uh, some direction on the uh, reference for the character here. Putting the Joker in his classic green gloves.
putting in a couple of knuckles there so we can make some reference points as to where its hand is. Getting all that going on. What kind of gloves do you wear, Mr. Joker? Acetoner. They're the most comfortable. <laughs> Sorry, he couldn't resist. Classic bat symbol. And we have the rest of Batman down here. Got his little stuffed chest all sideways and kiltered because of the fact he's been stuck. Puffy little stuffed stomach. Little bat belt. Little bat britches. That's a technical term, mind you. And I'm going to make this gray and blue. That's why I'm going to leave it open. Um, I'm not going to go traditional black, Dark Knight style. I want to go with the uh, colors of the original Batman that fought this Joker. So, which is the blue, black, and gray, and yellow. So we've got that saw blade in there. It's it's kind of a a funky serrated dagger which they did very sarcastically back in the day, and they would draw these big, huge teeth on them like a saw blade rather than a sharp knife. So if that thing stuck you, it would hurt because of those big serrations. They would, uh, those serrated edges would uh, carve into you like a saw and instead of, you know, it would grind big chunks of meat rather than just, uh, just pinging you with the blade, as it were. So, yeah, that would be nasty and gnarly. Okay. Going to kind of sketch this in a little bit. I'll leave that open for color. Because, I'm like, like I said, I want to go more of a classic look. But um, here's the old Colonel Sanders looped bow tie rather than just the, you know, the twist rather than just the original, uh, later classic bow tie, which is the one that looks more like, you know, Jimmy Olsen would wear uh, the infinity-shaped little bow tie, the figure eight, as it were, as some people call it. It's figure eight bow tie! I knew it as an infinity tie, but... Uh, because it's shaped like the infinity symbol. Kind of put in that knot. Put in the top there. We've got his shirt going on. Now we're going to put on his jacket. Both sides. Boom. Right there. Okay. Now we've got his shirt in. Pull a shadow right there. Pop that up a little bit. Go down here and put in his collar. Put in a little hard shadow right there. Make that pop up and out. And we'll go in here for the second part. And... I'm not going to draw his posy on this side because his posy is always on the other side. It's always in the left pocket or the left come, the uh, left uh, corner of the collar, depending on where who draws it and where it's stuck. But it's always on the left side, his left side. So I won't do that. But uh, I'm going to bring up this tie just a little bit, thicken it up where you can see the edges. Yay. Okay. <laughs> okay there we go now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blacken out this one side of this sheath
or blade stop or hand stop as some people call them but uh think there we go with that we have the joker i'm going to draw in those 90 style bullet pouches on his uh, belt his little capsules so you guys can see that. Put in the little ribbies. Because it was a little... I, I had one of these for a little while. Um, it puts in these really weird arm shapes and stuff. You know, a couple of... They pop in stitches here, pop in stitches here. Just enough to give him physical form and that's it. Then it goes away. So we got that going on. But I hope you guys dig this. This is my rendition of the classic... Colonel Sanders ribbon style tie joker. We're going to knock this out. I'll ink it and have it up with the card set so you guys can check him out. But that's where he is. So hope you enjoyed it, kitties. No, hey, Jim, thanks for joining, man. Uh, no, I don't have a cold, man. I'm just really, really tired. And this is what I sound like when I when I don't talk a lot when I'm tired. My voice drops and uh, I, I I'm just tired tired tired. It's been a long day. We've been up since 4:30 uh, this morning and had stuff going on you know all day long. So I'm not uh, I'm not sick at all. I'm just tired. You know it's just been a long day, man. And uh, I didn't get to go to bed last night. I didn't get to go to bed until almost two. So I got like two hours of sleep and then had a running all day with the family thing and then got ex exhausted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of work and then I'm going to do a sleep. <laughs> I don't normally get to do a lot of that. <laughs> so tonight I'm going to sleep well, I hope. And if not, you guys will see me back here later working on something else. So, anyway, if you catch this uh, tonight live, awesome, and happy Turkey Day to you. If not, you catch it tomorrow or whatever, awesome. Uh, thanks for popping on and checking it out, even if it's the replay, as always. And happy belated to you. And um, if you guys watch this over on the YouTube channel when it goes up, uh, that's the marker for it. Uh, Turkey Day 2018 is going to be the next one, and uh, hopefully we'll get we'll be around next year as well. But 2017 is in the books. Thank you guys for hanging out with me, and I'm out of here. Till tomorrow, take care, and uh, I'll see you then.